the best adventure ready outdoor focused backpack I've tested yet. That's the Prometheus Wolfpack 24 liter, the wilderness urban utility, I think it's wilderness utility urban lay flat Wolfpack. It's the best name ever. And <laughs> once you try it on, it's gonna be perfectly suited to your needs. This one is again, adventure ready. Let's take a look at everything that goes into this Prometheus design backpack in universal gray. It's got a little bit of green in it, but we're gonna take a look at it and show you all the awesome features. Let's get to it. All right, today we're looking at the Prometheus Design Works Wolf Pack. What does wolf stand for? It's the Wilderness Utility Urban Lay Flat Wolf Pack. One of the best names I've heard for a backpack in a very long time. So today we're gonna to look at all the features and bonus, we're gonna be outdoors for the entire video. Just because this is outdoor adventure focused, why not just do the whole thing outside? The weather's fantastic, so let's get outside and do it. So here we are, we're gonna look at everything. I've also got a ton of things attached to this one just because that's, generally speaking, how you would use this one for adventure, things attached, total utility, focus so that you have everything you need no matter where you are. This one's outdoors so I've got some things attached to not only the hip belt but the shoulder straps which I don't typically do but this is the Prometheus Design Works SPX. This is actually the Carryology version so it's got fid locks, it's got x-pack and it does totally fit the iPhone Max which I would show you but I'm recording the video with it but it totally that's how I carried it out here and it's adjustable to fit bigger things bigger cameras whatever you wanted and you can attach this just about anywhere I've also got their SP1 attached to this side again this is the Carryology version attaches to the hip belts on these little cutouts that they got everywhere on this bag this has got the uh, just a typical GPP-1 from Triple Out Designs. So that's how I got this thing decked out. I got utility things. I can do camera snacks, whatever you want on the outdoor uh, trail, wherever you happen to be. That's just things that are attached on the outside. Let's take off the bag and show you some of the other features. All right, so one of the bigger benefits is just all the ways you can carry things on this bag. I've got some trekking poles on here. I've got some water bottles. On this side, on the way out here, I had the Peak Design tripod in here was stuffed the bottom of this bottle pocket opening and then lashed down with these uh, aluminum G hooks that are really everywhere on the bag. You got the two on the side, you got one in the back and you've got two and mine was actually shipped without one plus the Prometheus Design Works. I sent them an email and then I very quickly got a reply with one being shipped to me. So this one will be, this little thing just wasn't attached. Oh, I'll get another one. So they got these basically stabilizer straps on the hip belts. So you can totally keep this bag connected to you while you're off angle, climbing up a hill, do that kind of stuff. Anyways, it's too, totally, totally cool. Now, aside from attaching trekking poles, you know, I also had an ice axe in here at one point. I can just, you can just drop it through, loop it up. And these Velcro attachment points at the top are very awesome. The Velcro could be a little bit longer in my opinion, just because I couldn't put both trekking poles on one side, not without just being at the very end of the Velcro. But you can totally get your own Velcro, loop it through all of these little loops they have on the outside of the bag. And you could totally carry both on one side, whatever you wanted big loop panel on the front. This one happens to be um, a patch from another company, but I thought it was cool and it went with this. So I just put it on there, but you have tons of real estate to put your favorite Prometheus Design Works patches. They make a ton. Again, there's links in the description to all this stuff in any way you could just go about it. Bottom of the bag, again, more options for attaching things. Put a bedroll on there, maybe put a camp chair, whatever you're gonna do, maybe your lunchbox, who knows, put something on the bottom. Again, more attachment points on the side. So really the ability to put things on this bag is totally awesome. And again, you've got compression straps on the side with a very awesome keeper system in there, lots of ways. So when you get this thing dialed in uh, and the, the straps all taken care of, there's no way you're gonna lose stuff. Another little shock cord on the water bottle pockets, more about the water bottle pockets a little bit, but again, totally awesome. The back panel is awesome. Got this EVA foam in there. Uh, it's gonna keep things uh, both breathable and comfortable. The shoulder straps got the same material on the inside. The, the shoulder straps are not quite as thick as some of the other bags, maybe a triple lock design or a go rock bag, but they are 
very wide and with the foam, the breathability are very, very comfortable long range. You've got these load lifters on the top. Anything with load lifters is typically awesome and this doesn't disappoint. Carry handles everywhere. They got them on the, the bottom, they got them on the top. Uh, anywhere you put this in an overhead bin or storage in the back of your truck and want to go grab it, you're going to be able to do that. Little uh, port on the back here for your hydration bladder. So you can put that out there and route it through uh, onto the front very easily. Very, very cool. Um, one negative I have about the back of the bag is when you totally cinch in this, um, this one actually kind of loosened up on its own. When you, when you cinch in the load lifters, you kind of have some bunched up webbing there at the top, uh, just the way this is attached. Now it doesn't flap all the way around, but it uh, just, just does kind of bunch up. Not a big deal. Anyway, this waist belt is load bearing. And the way this bag is designed, and I'll put up some dimensions right here so you can see how tall this bag is. The benefit of having a taller bag for me personally is the fact that I can put things on my hip. Most of the GR1 size go ruck bags are too short, so I can never put things on my hips for load bearing. I can use those hip belts for keeping things attached to me, but that's about it. This bag is tall enough for on me when I use these padded hip belts, it does become load bearing uh, for me. So I've, again, a taller bag like this, if you're going all day, you're gonna wanna use that bag in a load bearing method using a hip belt versus just using it to attach to your body. It does that too. Last thing about this hip belt, it is completely removable. So this is just a Velcro pad. You can totally remove that sucker if it wasn't how you wanted to use the bag. For me, it's all adventure all day with this one. So I'm going to totally keep this thing attached. And so there you can see the padding everywhere and all those attachment points to your body. Super nice and slick, nice and breathable and very padded, very comfortable all day long. It's awesome. External pocket wise, we do have one and it is here. Now this one's pretty sizable. It goes over the, the entire part of this lid. So you really have lots of room to store some quick access things to use if you don't know, drop the pack and get stuff quickly. What do I have in here? Well, I just got, it's big enough for a GPP one from Triple Out Design and really just about anything. You could do a, a packable jacket in there. You could put snacks, whatever you wanted. Very, very cool, very um, nice size. And there you go. External material wise, 500D everywhere. Is 500D for you? I don't know. Some people might want X-Pack or some other more high-tech fabric, but for me, 500D is the sweet spot. It definitely keeps things, it's not as abrasive. It's definitely tough, a tough material, and it's very lightweight. It's kind of the sweet spot materials, if you ask me, and it also just makes the user experience way more, um, just more positive user experience. Now, the G-hooks, let's talk G-hooks. You would say from looking at some of my other videos, but are you gonna replace those with Fidlocks? No, I do like the G-hook experience on this one. And I think in an, in, a, in an environment where you don't want things to fail or rely on magnets, you just want something that's always gonna work, the G-hook totally works. They did a great job putting them everywhere and I think they look great. Let's talk about the water bottle pockets. Now, if I have one negative, one thing that I would improve on this bag if I did the second generation of it was I would make these bottle pockets just a little bit deeper. I've got the inside about 100% packed, maybe 90 to 100% packed out. So it's not totally, can't jam anything else in there, but it is pretty packed out and putting a water bottle in here is problematic. And in fact, that a larger Nalgene will fit, um, really any water bottle will fit, but you're really fighting for depth in terms of the security of that water bottle. Yes, there's a shock cord and yes, there's a compression strap on there, but this water bottle, this is the GORUCK um, Arctic version. As I put it in there, you're just fighting for space and it's a little bit, you know, it's sticking out. So I would have a little bit of concern of that thing flying out. Now this one I would probably clip in there or whatever, but it's just a little bit too shallow. And that's what most people complain about on this bag. Is it sufficient? Yes. If you're going to use it for taller items, totally cool. But for a bigger analogy, it just doesn't really work. Now the design of it though is really, really cool. And it's double gusseted. So you've got a lot of room in there. And then when you're not using it, it all cinches in and it just completely collapses. So it doesn't 
um, impact the utility of the bag. So it is a fantastic design. In my opinion, I would make it just a little bit deeper, perfect for a Nalgene style wide mouth Nalgene, which is kind of the standard water bottle out there. So that's just my two cents. The only real negative thing I have about this bag anywhere. Let's talk about diving into the inside of the bag. Now diving in is very cool. Yes, you've got this G-hook attachment here. So let's just take that off so we can see a couple things. We've got a little loop in there, which is cool. It kind of keeps it all attached. There's a zipper, just like maybe some of your Mystery Ranch designs to give you access to the total front of the bag. The zipper goes obviously from the top, but you also get a bonus zipper from the bottom, which allows you to access things or in the bottom. So you get total access to everything that's inside the bag, which is super awesome. And it really adds to the functionality of this bag because you can access really anything in this single stack design, which is an outdoor focused design, not clamshell, but you can access everything in it uh, with that front access zipper. All right, let's take out a bunch of stuff on the inside and talk about what's on the inside of this bag. Diving in the inside, we took off the uh, trekking poles and where you're able to get into the lid. Uh, you see, start to see this uh, bright, they call it flame, but it's more yellow to me. This got a little orange tint to it. And just like the outside of the bag is universal gray, but there's a definite green tint to this. In fact, I had to go back to look at what I ordered. Did I order a green one or is it the gray? It's a universal gray, got a little bit of green. Now, anyway, this lid, is expandable so if you needed to go beyond the 24 liters it does go to i think 27 liters according to their website but it goes up and then you can expand this lid from the back now on the inside there is another pocket so you get this inside mesh pocket which in this case is just a garage built gear this is uh you know gopro some other quick access things that you maybe want inside a little more protected from the environment and there you go put it in there also a key ring thinning. So there you go. Stretch, meshy, see what's in there. Um, and again, just the way it's designed, totally love the feel of this bag, bright yellow on the inside. Now let's dive into the inside. There's a drawstring attachment on the top. So we will access that. Again, there's the zipper attachment on the top. Another little bonus, little feature, you got snaps. So there's no other snaps on the front except the top. So really this is gonna keep this from just exploding on you by the fact that you have an additional snap on the top. Nice touch. Totally unzipped. What do we have in here stacked out? Let's take a look. Well, we've got a couple of shadow pockets on the top, and then we've got a GR1 field pocket, and then we've got the spiff kit from Mystery Ranch Huck, Huckberry at the very bottom. So we've got tons of stuff in here filling out the 24 liters. We'll take it all out, show you what's on the inside. All right, so on the inside, there are two little tool pockets. So you got one on this side, tool pocket, and one on this side, tool pocket. So just longer sleeved items you can put in there and they would be totally, uh, you know, on the sides. There is a hydration uh, area, very stretchy and mesh. So you put your hydration bladder in there, hang it from the attachment point, and then loop that bladder out to the front like I showed you on the outside. So super cool. There is <laughs> this little insert in here which this is for your you know if, and again this is if you know the wolf pack it's a wilderness urban utility so the urban part is if you were going to use this for an edc bag now in the realm of backpacks this one is its core its dna is definitely in the adventure outdoor mode but you can have one bag and do it all you could travel with this one and you could go EDC on this one. It doesn't have a lot of EDC options, but it definitely has a way to carry your laptop, tablet, whatever it is, uh, in this padded, and it's very soft on the inside, sleeve. Now, if you didn't, you weren't gonna use it, didn't plan on using it, this is gonna get in your way. There are two little attachments at the bottom. Boop, disconnect it, totally remove that sucker, and then it's, it's just not part of the bag. So I, I like the utility of this. Again, that big flame, orange, yellow, um, color on the inside so you're really not going to lose anything on the inside of this bag and that's it so pretty simple on the inside lots of utility stack it up overfilled if you need to access things out of the top unzip it from the front otherwise just got a nice little uh realm of features i'm going to put all this stuff back in here and give you my final thoughts on the wolf pack all right so what are my final thoughts on the prometheus design wolf pack 24 liter man totally awesome out of the park in almost all regards with the one thing that i've already talked about 
the water bottle pocket being its only real negative. I'm even willing to overlook that because of the utility of this bag and how would you use this all day adventure, maybe even overnight. You could put a bunch of stuff strapped to this on the outside and be totally sufficient in a single bag environment at 24 liter capacity. If you can get away with 24 liters, you can use this bag for just about anything. And if you really needed one bag to do it all, this could be one of those things if your mode was mostly adventure. That's how I would use this 99% of the time and that 1% of the time, put your laptop in it and go on a trip, go somewhere else. How would I make it better? Really, that's the only thing is making this bottle pocket a little bit taller, but otherwise it's totally worth it. Now, one thing that I haven't mentioned is the price. For all these features, you're gonna expect this bag to pay a lot more. Is it? Nope, putting the right price right here. Very, very affordable for what you get out of this bag. Totally love it. Check out the company, check out the bag. All right, so that's what I think of the Prometheus Design Works Wolfpack 24 liter bag, perfectly suited for everything adventure focused and tripping on logs. Uh, but this is perfect for everything in the outdoors. It's gonna be my go-to outdoor bag for the foreseeable future. And it's just awesome. Totally love it. If you got some value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, sign up for alerts, do all that because you're not gonna miss what's happening next. I got a lot of stuff coming out soon for every mode of travel. This one's obviously outdoor focused, but I got some urban EDC focused bags. I got some sandbags. I got all sorts of stuff coming out. These things you're not gonna miss. So definitely sign up for those alerts. Until then, enjoy the weather where you are. It's definitely broken here. Things are starting to bloom. The pollen is going crazy. Anyway, we'll see you in the next video. It's design works. Okay. <clears throat> All right, like I said, today is the day we're gonna look at this Prometheus Design Works urban utility Thank mm -hmm. you.